This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Squarespace. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here. This is my review of the Canon PowerShot ELPH 300HS. That's a pretty long name for a camera this small, but it's a point and shoot digital camera that's going to be able to get you uh, really good picture quality, but also excellent, excellent video quality. This thing shoots 1080p video, but more about that in a second. I was going to first talk about the design. Now, when you first pick up this camera, you'll notice that it is extremely light and also extremely small. It fits in the palm of your hand. And so, this is the world's thinnest digital camera with the 24 millimeter lens. And this lens is an ultra wide angle lens as well. As you'll be able to tell by some of the photos I'll show you um, in a second. So this thing will be able to fit in, in anybody's pocket. Even if you're wearing some skinny jeans, uh, it'll be able to fit in your pocket. Not that I have any skinny jeans, of course not. But if you do have some ladies or, unfortunately, some guys, it will be able to fit in those pockets. On the back of the camera itself, you'll find a 2.7-inch LCD screen, which is very nice. And I was actually uh, able to read the screen in direct sunlight when I was out recording some footage. And also, um, to the right of the screen, you'll find a record button. You'll just find all the buttons that you'll normally find in the camera um, to get, be able to get into the functions and the settings, uh, change the flash. And I uh, find that the buttons are very nicely laid out. They have a nice amount of feedback to it. Um, at the top of the camera itself, you'll find the on-off button, the shutter button. And right around the shutter button, you'll find the zoom controls to be able to go in and out. And on the right-hand side of the camera itself, you'll find an HDMI and AV digital out to be able to plug this thing right into a TV and be able to view any footage, anything that you're taking on your camera. Now, on the bottom, you'll find a little door there, and this is where you're putting the the SD memory card for your storage and also to this is where you put the battery and speaking of the battery I was able to get really excellent battery life out of this camera uh, so I shot all day long filled up about 24 gigabytes worth of the data and most of that was HD video and the camera still had uh, a little bit under half the battery life so this thing will be able to last you all day long no matter what you're doing with it so battery life is really good on this camera and so that's a look at the design and the hardware of this camera and I will say it's just a very very nice camera to use even though I have long fingers and kind of big hands uh, this camera still was a joy to use and I think anybody from a kid to a, a, an older big shack looking dude will be able to use this camera uh, with no problems at all I right, now it's going to get to some of the specs and the features of this camera. It has a five times optical zoom. Then after that, it goes into digital zoom. And I found that the five times optical was just enough to get you nice and close to your subject you're going to be shooting. It also has an optical image stabilizer for your shaking hands out there. And it has a maximum aperture from f2.7 all the way up to f5.9. And it has ISO all the way up to 3200. And now to the features of this camera, it does have a high burst mode to be able to take up to eight images per second. It also does have a super slow motion mode to be able to take the footage and actually slow it down, which is has unlimited reasons to be able to do that. Also does have a smart shutter, which is the first time I ever used this. So this smart shutter allows you to the camera to only take a picture when it sees that somebody winks or when somebody smiles. So if you're trying to take a picture with everybody in it and have nobody behind the camera, just make everybody frown. And once the first person smiles, it'll actually snap the picture. But I just think it's cool. And the camera itself just has up to 32 different shooting scenarios that you can choose from in the uh, settings, from portrait mode to tour camera effect to the miniature effect, etc. You have a tons of different things you can do with it. And just the OS and the software um, inside the camera itself works very fine. I mean, navigation between it is very fast and snappy. Um, I found that I was able to get to different settings very easily without having to spend a lot of time searching through the menus. And also just the boot up of the camera itself. Uh, if you want to open it up and take the, not open it up, but turn it on and take a picture, it boosts up in less than a second. So I like this software. I like the features. I like everything with this camera so far as, as far as going on in the internals. I right, now it's going to get to part of what you've been waiting for to see how this thing actually performs. So this camera does take 12.1 megapixel still images and it has a Canon HS sensor inside of it which stands for high sensitivity to help you with low light situations. And also it can shoot in full 1080p HD video at 30 frames per second. So right now I'm just going to shut up and let you watch some footage that I was able to take with this camera and just judge for yourself. All right, now I'm about to show you some picture samples from this camera. And the first test I'm going to do is a low light performance test, which this thing did a really, really good job in low light situations. So you won't be disappointed at all with that type of performance. And also, I just went outside here to the Botanical Gardens out here in St. Louis and took some pictures. I used some different settings like the foliage setting and also to uh, the toy camera effect or the miniature effect in some of these photos. And then some photos just like this one, I just used just the regular um, auto where the camera depicts the best settings to use and depending on what type of environment you're in. So this camera does a really, really good job. It's still pictures now. I'm going to take a look at some 1080p video.
Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, Soldier Tards here, kind of <laughs> being like Shay Tards doing some vlogging. Anyway, guys, I'm out here uh, testing out the uh, 300 HS from the Canon, the Power Shot, and hopefully you can get an idea how about how good the audio is. And hopefully I'm not covering up the mic hole because I don't even know where it is, to be honest with you. Um, but anyway, a lot of people are starting to use this camera for vlogging. So I decided to give a little quick little vlogging test with this. And hopefully it turns out well. And uh, so, yeah, hopefully I'm not sweating too bad. It's not that hot out here, but it's a little, little sun out here, so I'm going to start sweating a little bit. As you can see from that footage, this camera does a phenomenal job, not only with the still images, but also with the 1080p full HD video, which is the main reason why I got this camera. I wanted something that is just, it's just very portable with me that I can shoot awesome videos. So my overall conclusion about this camera that this thing is a awesome little package that I think can fit a number of different needs from vloggers out there. I'm just speaking for YouTube terms, like for vloggers out there or for tech videos, you can mount this thing on a tripod and really shoot anything with it. And also just for personal use, just for regular use to, to capture your son's birthday party. Party, or go catch a football game or just take it out with you it's so small and tiny that it'll be able to just you just can just throw it in your pocket forget about it and take it out when you need it and it's going to perform exceptionally well in really all types of different cases and scenarios from low light i mean it's not going to be dslr type of uh, performance in low light but it does a pretty good job with that but it shines when you're going to be outside running around out and about during the daytime that's when the video quality just looks its best and i say this camera definitely delivers on that and so you can find this camera online for about 230 bucks i got it from amazon about 230 from canon themselves i think they're charging about 250 but i think this is one of those perfect cameras that again is a little bit above the you know kind of the flip cameras um, but we're still below kind of the, the the entry level dslrs or just the entry level cameras right below those i think this camera fits in nice and snug with that all right but before we head out of here guys i'm going to take one let's look at our sponsor for this video and that is squarespace squarespace is the fast and easy way to create a high quality blog portfolio or any kind of website if you have questions or need help squarespace provides every member with amazing support 24 hours a day seven days a week start your website or blog by choosing from over 60 professionally designed templates and then add content from your computer iphone or iphone iPad. Squarespace mobile apps allow you to easily add entries and manage comments from anywhere. Many of the internet's highest traffic web pages are powered by Squarespace, not to mention many of the personal pages of revisions three hosts and personalities. Check out squarespace.com to get a two week free trial and 10% off when you sign up in July. Just enter coupon code SOLDIER8. Alright guys, again, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below about what you think about this little camera. Are you going to get it? I know a lot of people are really waiting for my review uh, to decide whether they should get this camera or not and how was the quality. How do you really think the quality was? So please leave a comment down below. I'm interested to see what you guys think. And thanks for watching guys and I will catch you later. Peace.